there's certain things that you can and cannot do on the high. One of those being apparently flying in the pregame lobby. What? Today we're going to talk about what you can and cannot do on the high. So I guess if you ever had any questions, oh, is this allowed on the hive or is that allowed on the hive? Well, we're going to talk about it here in this video. And as I'm presenting this list, there's also going to be some gameplay in the background. If you guys want to see see that gameplay for some reason it's gonna be uploaded on my second channel totally let's talk about what is not allowed on the high and this is probably gonna come off as a huge shock any form of hacked client is not allowed on the hive i feel like most of the hackers that i actually run into are using toolbox it's it's for your phone it can be super annoying at times Any form of auto clicker. This includes any use of third party software to increase your CPS. All right, well, there goes half the hives PVP community. <laughs> I know there's some mice that have software, even a special macro button that can literally auto click. I guess hives saying that's not allowed. I also want to add my own little disclaimer to collect evidence of someone auto clicking is extremely hard for the hive to do. It is indeed on the list and it's definitely not recommended. I guess take that information how you will. Entity radars or mini map. So pretty much what an entity radar is or what I believe it is. It'll show you like locations of players or maybe locations of chess. And then a mini map. I, I think that's just a little map in the corner. I don't know. Not allowed. Oh, a follow up of earlier. Any macros that affect gameplay. Increased clicking, speed, jump speed. World downloaders. Okay. Uh, I, I understand it. Potato pie. <laughs> On Java, there's a mod that you can use called World Downloader, which literally just downloads the world from whatever server you're on. And so that's exactly what I use. Free Look 360 Perspective. This was sort of a big deal because a Minecraft Bedrock client called Fake Client had recently added a 360 perspective so you could see to your right, see to your left without actually changing your direction. You could see 180 without even switching direction basically so the hive does not like that y yep all right <laughs> uh, a no hurt cam pretty much whenever someone hits you your screen does not display that you're getting hurt so you can pretty much bypass that and then auto sprint not to be confused with toggle sprint toggle sprint is pretty much a vanilla modification that when you click a button you sprint that's just vanilla what auto sprint is it's when you sprint in all directions including side to side and even backwards. That's the list of every client modification rule that someone's gonna break after this video. So yeah, <laughs> now let's go to what is allowed. Resource packs that modify the Minecraft's interface or animations. The zoom, dude, the zoom is my favorite thing ever. I love the zoom, not the app, but, but the zoom, the Optifine. Optifine on Bedrock is literally the best they need to somehow just add this to the vanilla client i would be so so happy toggle sprint and toggle sneak both allowed wow thanks I full brights or other client modifications that change your brightness or gamma i used to have a full bright shaders until the new minecraft update like messed up the pack and now i can't actually use that texture pack anymore but yeah i actually highly recommend a full bright texture pack especially in the hive's awfully dark atmosphere it can make recordings look very horrendous, like actually bad. Hitbox viewers. Pretty much it's just a box around the players that'll show you where to hit. Capes, CPS counters, and armor HUD. There's a lot of players that actually dedicate a lot of time into making capes. I think this is one of the cooler things on Bedrock. As of right now, you can use any cape that you want. You do have to be Windows 10 though. There's also a list of allowed clients. There is a link in the description to all this information if you have more questions for yourself or this list might even be updated by the time you're watching this. So yeah, go check that out. Also, check out my second channel. I'm gonna be posting more videos similar to this. If you have more questions, be sure to follow me at I'm Pizzas on Twitter.